another week's gone by and I miss you so much. I hope everyone's well. Um, Wason and Ruba wanted to say hello and to tell you that there, you have a very special teacher today. Yay, Miss Catherine's gonna help you um, with our family moment this morning. So I'm so glad that she's joining us and I'm so glad that you all are here with us together today. Did you see, oh, hold on. Look how big Wason's getting. Can you believe that in such a short period of time? Wason, say hi. Say hi, yes. And Ruba, of course, is always big. Okay, love you all. Mm -hmm. And um, don't forget to send me pictures or videos of how you're feeding the sheep, of how you're helping one another during this time. Love you, miss you. Email me anytime, call me, bye. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Catherine. Um, if I had you in my 1030 class, hi. I uh, normally teach the kindergarten through second grade, um, but I might have seen many other others of you as well. So um, thank you for inviting me into your homes this morning and welcome into mine. You can see some of my kids' artwork back there. Um, I don't have the cute dogs that Miss Julie has, but I'm glad that she made a little video so that you can still see how big her puppy is getting. But I do have a cat on my lap right now, actually. There she is, and there she goes. So she was helping for a little bit, but. Maybe she'll come back in a little bit. But we have, oh my goodness, since last time I saw you, we were we had just met Jesus, right? We were just talking about him. He had just begun his ministry. And we were, do you remember the when he said, come, follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. And then we talked about the wise builders, about listening to everything that Jesus was teaching and to use use those teachings in your life like a wise builder. And we learned, uh, he taught everyone how to pray, the Lord's Prayer. Do you remember all of these things? It seems like so long ago. But wow, then we had, um, since we've been gone, we've had Easter, right? So we've had, um, he went up to pray and um, in the Garden of Gethsemane. And then they had the, um, well, they had the Lord's Supper before that. And um, then he was betrayed and he was crucified. And then on Easter, we celebrated the resurrection um, him coming back um, to the disciples and um, showing himself several times and um, spending time with them and uh, he told them to stay in Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit to come upon them and that's what Miss Julie talked about um, last week was the Great Commission do you remember her saying that about how Jesus said, I'm not going to be here forever, but I want you guys to go and continue my work and continue to spread my message and my love. Do you remember that? Well, so now we're going to go, we have been studying um, from the Gospels, right? From Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Remember those? Pretty much in Matthew is what we had been dealing with. But today we get to get into an entirely new book. It's called the Book of Acts. And we haven't studied much about the Book of Acts. The book of Acts takes up um, after Jesus has gone back to heaven. He stayed on earth for about 40 days and he, um, you know, still shared with the apostles and many other people that he appeared to. Um, but after he left, it was up to the disciples now to start the church and to spread the church and to spread the message. So today, um, our new Bible verse is actually um, in the book of Acts and it's two, that's chapter two, verse four. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Now they, they're talking about the disciples at first, but then anybody who came to be um, baptized and believe, believe and be baptized, um, had the Holy Spirit with them and it gave them the power to spread the, the news and to spread the church, the growing of the church. So the book of Acts is all about the first church, the baby church, <laughs> started as the baby church. Um, and how and how it grew and today we get to meet a guy named Barnabas um, Barnabas was um, one of the early Christians who his name actually means one who encourages so that's kind of a neat little trivia there one who encourages he was very kind everybody liked him and those first Christians really were very good at sharing are you guys good at sharing do you share with your brothers and sisters? Do you share with your friends? Sharing can be hard sometimes, can't it? But in the early church, they believed that you know what they had was not really theirs. It belonged to God. 
So they shared with one another. And like if somebody had a whole bunch of land and nobody had, and there was a person that didn't have land, they would share some of their land or they would share their money. If one person had a ton of money and somebody didn't have any money, they would share it. So everybody had their needs met. Isn't that wonderful? So we are called to do that as well because we are Christians too. And as that early church was being so selfless and kind and caring and sharing with each other, that really caught people's attention. People who weren't Christians were looking at this group of Christians going, why are they sharing all of their stuff? That is so strange because they were so used to living just for themselves. Just me, 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 keeping everything to themselves but they started to see how happy they were and how much love there was. So guess what? That's how the church started to grow because people were really interested in these really kind, nice, sharing people. Remember that song? They will know they are Christians by our love, by our love. That's sort of where it, what that's talking about there. So, so I want you guys to, we'll just sort of wrap up here. And I want you to think of since we are Christians and we are called um, to be, to spread the word of Jesus and to behave like Jesus and to treat people like Jesus and the early Christians did, how can we do that? Especially now when we can't even, well, we're not really suggest, it's not suggested that we leave the house. Like we can't even go to church right now, right? So how are we supposed to share? Well, I'm glad you asked, as Pastor Brilio would say, huh? <laughs> Thanks for asking. Um, what if a, maybe a neighbor needs something? Like maybe you have um, a whole extra loaf of bread or something and you realize that your neighbor hasn't been able to get to the store. And so maybe you could share a loaf of bread with your neighbor. Or maybe there's, um, maybe you could just share a note with someone. Maybe you know that somebody's feeling kind of lonely because they haven't been able to get out with their friends or their church family, maybe you could write a little note to them and share just kindness with them. Or maybe you could even share with your brothers and sisters right at home. Or if you don't have any brothers or sisters, maybe you could share something with your mom and dad. Hmm? Different ideas, huh? So just think about, that's our lesson for today, is sharing, being kind, and showing God's love. Do you guys remember the Lord's Prayer? I bet you probably do. I have a friend with me. This is this is Jumpy. This is Jumpy Squirrel. And Jumpy Squirrel would like to say the Lord's Prayer with, with you, if that's okay. He's a little shy because he's not sure if he remembers it. Can you say it with him? Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Did I do it? Yes, Jumpy, that was beautiful. And remember, remember our toe prayers, those of you who have me in class? You can do your toe prayers or your finger prayers. I don't have any toes. Oh, okay, well, if you don't know what that is, all we do is we just use our fingers or our toes. Since you're at home, you can use your toes and you just count down all the things that you're thankful for. Thank you for our house. Thank you for our food. Thank you for our family. Thank you for the computers. Thank you for the rain. Today is Thursday and it's raining outside. And you could go on and on. You could go through all your fingers and all your toes. That's great. I know. I thought so too. Well, until we meet again, boys and girls, stay safe, be healthy, keep praying, pray at any time you want, and just be kind and sharing with one another. See you later.